I'm Laura Glynn, professor of psychology in Crean College of Health and Behavioral Sciences. My research focuses on maternal child health with a particular emphasis on the perinatal period. All of my work really examines the interplay between biology and psychology. There are three main arms to my research. The first has to do with questions of why do women give birth to babies that are born early or small. The second has to do with how does reproductive history or the process of pregnancy and childbearing affect women's brain and behavior across the lifespan. And the third has to do with questions regarding how does intrauterine life or prenatal experience and very early postnatal experience shape fetal infant and child development. My research lab is housed in the Cypress Street Schoolhouse. This is a historic schoolhouse from the 1940s that has been restored by the university. And so currently, um, we're recruiting pregnant women and studying them from pregnancy and following these women and their infants through the first year postpartum. But we're also seeing children and adolescents who we've been following since they were fetuses and doing behavioral assessments with these kids to sort of follow their development from the fetal period all the way through now adolescence. If one wants to understand early life influences on development, and we're talking about the fetal period and very early postpartum period, um, you need to begin when these individuals are fetuses or in utero, and we've had the opportunity to do that, and so have now coming on 500 children that we've been following since they were 15 weeks gestation, and there really is no other cohort in the world um, that would allow one to ask these questions in this way. So it's a very special group of mothers and children who've been working with us for over a decade now, many of them. We collect biological samples. I'm very interested in particularly stress hormones. So in the pregnant women, we're collecting blood and saliva samples so that we can assess their stress hormone levels. Because I enter into a independent study agreement with my students with the understanding that we're gonna focus on something together that marries both of our interests. For me, this has had, in some cases, longer term impacts on my own research program. So working with students who bring something, a different perspective or a different interest and finding a marriage of those interests, my own work has taken me down new avenues in some cases. Some cases, I pursue these avenues even after the student has gone on to do whatever she, he or she is gonna do in their own lives and therefore, this has a lot lasting impact on the trajectory of my research program. 